my name is Dennis Van Elstorp. I'm with the Be Informed Partnership, and we're talking about the management survey results um, for 2000 Tops 2013, specifically carbohydrate feeding. Um, feeding carbohydrates is essential practice with beekeeping. Basically, do we feed our colonies or not? So these results are sort of counterintuitive in the fact that it says that people who use the product lost a lot more colonies than those who did not use the product. Um, it's a very difficult result to explain, other than to say that you that there are there are times you need to feed your colonies. So it's it's unclear why this is. It could very well be that the people who didn't feed just had well-fed colonies already. And we know, of course, that the best food for bees is when they're able to collect it themselves and keep it in the hive. If we look for regional effects here, you can see that this trend was both true in the north and southern states. Um, and again, I don't think I would read into this too much other than to say that in, in areas where you get a good flow, so you have a lot of food in that colony anyway, and you'll see this later on in some other management survey results, good honey flows mean better bees and better survivorship. And so this could simply be a matter of, of, of bees that had to be fed were in a weaker state than those who didn't. You're also can ask what product you used. Um, and of course, there's lots of different um, possibilities, candy board, dry sugar, frames of honey. Three years in a row now, we have an indication that people who are using frames of honey as the primary source of carbohydrate to feed their colonies. So taking frames of honey from another colony or frames of honey that were stored and placing them in their colonies lost a lot more colonies than those who used some other source of carbohydrate feed. Take home message here is if you're gonna feed frames of honey back to your colonies, you probably don't wanna do that in the fall. You wanna feed them in the spring or earlier in the season. You don't want that to be the primary source of energy for those bees to survive the winter. The information is for educational purposes only. References to commercial products or trade names do not imply endorsement by the Bee Informed Partnership or its members. The results presented here are the summary of the population who responded. The sample may not be representative of the beekeeping population at large. These results simply highlight differences in the sample population. The results cannot be considered conclusive, causative, protective, or a test to product efficacy or lack of efficacy.